Hi, I'm Chloe. And I'm Lucy. And we run the blog Paleo Britain. We're doing this video today to talk about the new Eat Well guide, which has just been issued a few days ago, and um, comparing it to the old Eat Well plate, which we've got here. Sorry, they're not in colour. You can see that basically there's no difference. They've removed the knife and fork. Brilliant, that helps. Um, two years ago, I blogged about this, and I made up six plates with foods I could see on the Eat Well plate, just um, trying to illustrate how terrible the foods that are actually represented on that plate were. Um, we've just done exactly the same thing again two years later. Um, we've made up the plates. You can go on our Facebook page and have a look there and um, see the plates, and um, we'd love to know your thoughts on, on it as well. So basically, they're still telling us to base our meals on starchy foods, um, on the plate you can see Weetabix, on the plate you can see sliced bread, um, even bagels are on the plate. I mean, how is that something that's healthy and what we should be being encouraged to eat? Uh, they're also telling us that we should be eating unsaturated oils, um, such as processed vegetable oil or margarine. They've taken out butter, which actually um, is a nutritious food, and we're now told that butter should not be part of our diet, but instead we should be having processed margarine. And they're also telling us that we should be eating low-fat dairy um, and, even worse, soya milk, again, a completely processed food. And they're telling us we shouldn't have full-fat dairy, even though the evidence shows that the health benefits from dairy come from having full-fat dairy, not reduced-fat dairy. Um, so I'm just going to jump in. Um, one thing we also noted was that the people that were put together to review the Eat Well plate had so many conflicts of interest, which is just not acceptable. So a few of the people who were part of the group were unbiased, which is good, but some of them didn't even come to the meeting, so they probably didn't have much sway in it anyway. Um, one of the companies that um, were um, part of the f the people that were conflicts were Outpro Soya, um, another one was Unilever. Funnily enough, these things are now featuring quite heavily in the Eat Well plate. They're shown on the plate. Heinz, Warburton's, and Bagels are shown on the plate. And these things are just not acceptable. So, you know, government guidelines should not be influenced by different companies that create processed food. They should be there to actually provide, you know, a healthy guideline on what to eat to, redu to reduce this obesity epidemic. So, um, and the statistics in the UK are just terrible. So, 25% um, of people are obese. We're the fattest nation in Europe. And that means nearly over 60% of people are overweight and obese combined so that's just a shocking statistic um, nearly 3.5 million people have diabetes and there's um, a, on average 135 diabetes related amputations every week in the UK and these things are just you know crippling the NHS you know it's all obesity related you know diseases that are actually affecting our nation and it's not acceptable so, um, so basically the government should be trying to address the problem with the healthy eating guidelines they're putting out. But yet the Eat Well plate, the original Eat Well plate was issued in 2007. And since 2007 and today, the statistics on obesity and diabetes have continued to rise. So why are they reissuing in 2016 exactly the same guidelines? It's just absolutely ridiculous. It's not doing anything to address the problem. And the fact that all these food manufacturers have such a big sway on the guidelines that we're given, it's just totally shocking. I know, and just the last thing I want to mention is that, yes, obviously they have removed some of the sweet, you know, sugary foods to the side of the plate but this is now an eat well guide this features hydration message it features the unsaturated oils so this isn't actually removed from the plate at all it's still saying you know you can eat these now and then and actually there's a menu that they've provided which says it's perfectly acceptable to have crumpets with jam for a snack have digestive biscuits for a snack every day have walker's crisps you know so you know these things aren't acceptable and it hasn't changed at all um, and we've made up um, a series of plates showing the kind of foods that you can see um, based on the sample menus provided by the government. So those are posted on our Facebook page. If you head over there, it's at UK Paleo Britain. And um, we'd love to hear your thoughts and your comments on what you think about all of this. Thanks for listening.